Hey guys, it's Jen. I'm back to report the results of my three-day no sweetener experiment. My uh, experiment was my regular low-carb diet. I um, I eat on the fatty side, not on. It's not high protein. Um, I my normal diet is breakfast. I pretty much eat until I'm satisfied. My lunch is typically a coffee with a tablespoon of coconut oil and about two tablespoons of heavy cream and usually several drops of um, vanilla stevia and, and a couple of drops of uh, liquid sucralose or easy sweets, my sweeteners of choice. And uh, I had to eliminate my coffee meal because of the sweeteners, so I had to actually eat a meal in between breakfast and, and supper, so that was a little bit different. And then I I normally eat, you know, a supper, and then oftentimes, I'd say half the time, we eat some kind of low-carb dessert in the evening about an hour after supper. And I had to eliminate that, but uh, uh, I substituted nuts or something similar, uh, one night I had cheese, um, during this experiment. So I didn't eat any sweeteners at all. I didn't drink any diet sodas, and I usually do. I, I like uh, Coke Zero Vanilla. So I drank water, lots of water, <laughs> lots of ice, and um, eliminated things like uh, low-carb barbecue sauce, you know, things that had sweetener in them. So did really well. It uh, The first two days, were normal uh, except for I was unusually hungry. My normal sized meal didn't quite satisfy me. I mean, I, I I don't eat till fullness because I can eat forever. I've always been able to eat forever. I can clean out a buffet quicker and you can say buffet. So I I normally eat until I think I've had a, you know a decent amount or I'm feeling happy enough to walk away. Well. A little more than that in the first two days. For example, I went to IHOP uh, the, sec the morning of the second day. Had no choice. That was I was with other people. But uh, that's actually a pretty good place to eat when you're low-carbing. And I got a plate with um, three fried eggs, and it came with four sausage pork sausage links, which don't have any carbs. I looked online. Or maybe it was one. can't remember. It was... Mm, it wasn't, if anything, it was one. Um, and then it came with a stack of three pancakes, which I gave to my daughter. And then I ordered a side of um, four pieces of bacon. Plenty of food, right? I mean, geez. <laughs> Who eats four pieces of sausage and four pieces of bacon in the same meal? But uh, I could have eaten that breakfast all over again. I was hungry. And then uh, we stopped at, I was, you know, spending the day with, with people, so we stopped at Steak and Shake for lunch. <laughs> I haven't been to a Steak and Shake in a long time, but I got a double burger with pepper jack cheese, and it had a chipotle mayo, and one slice of tomato, and one slice of lettuce, and uh, three tiny little red onion rings. And, and a little itty bitty like tablespoon of guacamole on it. It was really good. Um, I also subbed out the fries for a side salad. Had to pick out croutons, yay, because I didn't know it came with croutons, and um, about a tablespoon of ranch. So it, it was really, really good meal. A little bit higher calorie than my bulletproof coffee would have been, but um, not so bad. And uh, it didn't fill me up. <laughs> it was delicious, though. Um, normally, it would have. Um, so, and then dinner that night, I had, oh, I had lettuce cups with sliced um, ribeye steak in them. And I had two tablespoons of picante sauce mixed with two tablespoons of um, sour cream. And the toppings off of one piece of pizza, which I could hardly scrape off. There wasn't enough toppings, but it did have a few pieces of pepperoni on it. That's what I had for dinner. Um, 
and that that was okay. I, I I had enough. I had like eight lettuce cups. <laughs> I made sure I ate a lot of lettuce. <laughs> I needed some chewing, but um, that was last night, and that's when my hunger started to, you know. No, you know what? I mixed up my days. That was last night's, and the other one was the day before. But anyway, you get an idea of what I ate. What I ate? Pretty normal, low carb. First two days I was extra hungry. By the third day, I was back to normal, so thank goodness, because part of the reason I'm low-carb, other than not gaining weight on it, of course, is that I don't have to be hungry. I did Weight Watchers too many years. So, it was a success because I broke my three, four, I think probably four-week stall of, um, I had only gone down 0.2. Oh, stick on butter in a month is no good especially when you've gained weight recently. So, I am happy because I lost a pound. Yay! So, I'm not going to jump back in all my diet sodas. Today I'm just going to add back the Bulletproof Coffee and uh, Stevia. I'm going to try to drink it with just Stevia. I like Stevia, but I don't like it stevia, stevia being the only sweetener in things. It gets bitter. But anyway, be happy to have it, right? I miss my coffee. <laughs> I didn't have an unusual craving for sweets in this whole weekend, so that was that was kind of unusual. I expected to really, I want a cookie or something, you know, but nah. And um, I did take, since I'm used to drinking Monster Zeros and uh, Diet Coke, uh, Coke Zeros and stuff like that, I um, I did take half a Vibrin twice a day each of the three days, which is probably on the minimal side of my caffeine intake certainly wasn't over for a day. So I'm probably more like 250 milligrams of caffeine instead of 200, but it worked. It was fine. Um, there's something else I want to show you. Here is a product that I just love, and I don't think too many people know of. They're called Loran Emulsions, Bakery Emulsions. Here's an example of one. This one's almond. And it says, uh, Loran Professional Kitchen Almond Bakery Emulsion Natural and Artificial Flavor. Um, some of these I've been able to find at my Walmart recently. That's new. But uh, typically I buy them off of eBay or Amazon. Um, Nutrition doesn't seem to have them yet. Um, I ought to suggest it to them. And here's one that's cream cheese flavored. You use these just like you use extracts. They're thicker, but um, the flavoring is amazing in these. Here's one that's called Butter Vanilla. Here's one that's called Lemon. I like the lemon and this orange one. I like them in um, low-carb... Um, you, know, you know those crusties? Uh, lemon pie bar cookie mixes that they have at the store. They have a lime and a lemon one. Um, there might be another flavor one, but I can't remember. I always buy the lime or the lemon. Well, not anymore, but you know the the kind of the pie crust bottom with the the thick. You can slice them and they stay square. They're not pie, but they kind of remind you of a lemon pie. Well, um, I make that with with the orange and the lemon. And I have another lime extract that's really good too. That It's not Loran though, that I use to make lime. And I put a little lemon or lime juice in, in either orange or lemon or lime zest in it and, and uh, make a low-carb crust that is really, really one of the better low-carb desserts for me. That's what I do with those. Um, the cream cheese one I don't use so often because I use cream cheese. So that one's kind of, I bought it because it was at Walmart. Um, the butter vanilla one, I don't use so much because I can use vanilla and I can use butter as well. And this has, um, as the third ingredient, some modified food starch and it has a hydrogenated soybean oil and I'm kind of against that and I didn't notice that when I bought it. So I really don't use that one very much. Um, the almond one I use in uh, biscuits to make um, shortcake type biscuits. So I'll make an almond flavored sweetened biscuit, chop up a few strawberries just a little bit for on top and make a strawberry flavored cream cheese with um, strawberry da Vinci 
and uh, cream cheese. And it makes a shortcake, and it's really, really very good. And if I'm even going more indulgent than that, I'll put whipped cream on it. So this one's neat. It's princess cake and cookie flavor. And it says, adds a creamy, rich bouquet and a light, nutty taste. Great in cakes, cookies, pastries, and frostings. Don't limit yourself to desserts. It's delicious in French toast and pancakes, too. So, um, this one's pretty good. Water, propylene glycol, natural and artificial flavors, xanthan gum, and caramel color. This is my second choice. If you're only going to buy one, this is the second one I'd, I'd suggest. This one is the first one. I use this all the time. It's called buttery sweet dough. It makes things taste like pastry. And that is never a bad thing, <laughs> unless you're talking about bacon. <laughs> so I'm sure somebody's going to try it. Bacon is all the rage. It's, it has water, propylene glycol, natural and artificial flavors, xanthan gum, and natural color. I believe it's, yeah, it's identical to the princess one. So this is one that's very good for low-carb diets. And it says it has the rich taste of creamy butter combi combined with a hint of citrus. Great in cakes, cookies, pastries, and frostings, and then pancakes and French toast. This is the one you ought to, you ought to look into. I use it usually in addition to the vanilla in a recipe, but you could also substitute it. Um, at Walmart, they were six bucks, but you can see it's, it's a quite big bottle, and you use the same amounts as you do vanilla or something. So it's not really expensive. But on Amazon, I found it uh, 350 or 395, and I bought a bunch of them, you know, when I bought them. So uh, the shipping, it wasn't shipping from Amazon; it was shipping from somebody else. So I paid a little bit, but when you buy several, it's not so bad. Anyway, cheaper in Walmart. So I hope y'all have a good week.